Why do we come to the theater? Well, the theater is a place where actors tell stories, right? But what if, what if the theater became a place where real people told real stories that inspired and enlightened audiences? I'm in each week and you're telling your story and you're walking me down the path of where you've been and what you saw and what you took in. So how have you been doing this week, Bobby? I just haven't been able to shut my mind off. I can see it. I can see it like it's right in front of me. You're in the lobby while the tower is burning. I just remember the top 10 floors of that building were just pushing so hard with this thick, velvety black smoke. People jumping. And people jumping from, from a thousand feet up. I caught like the last 30, 25 feet of an airplane just sink into the side of the other building. And this blast came through the front windows and it picked me up and it flicked me like I was a rag doll. You need to get out of here and you need to get out of here right now. And then the next instant, I can't breathe, I can't see, and I am buried up to my armpits. I can see it, I can see it like it's right in front of me. I guess I'm trying to make something sense out of the senseless in all of this. There was nothing I could do to stop it. Is guilt a part of this? Are you feeling guilty? It's one word. Why? I ask myself a hundred times a day. Man, it, it's right here all the time. It's almost like you don't want to allow yourself to feel. There's less than 40 guys in the fire department who were working within those buildings and got out. And you are one of them. And you're here. And you're telling this story. Help me to understand the feelings behind some of these words that you're sharing. Well, I haven't been able to make sense of what happened, let alone feel. Almost as if you're looking for a a mission or a purpose in all this. Absolutely. The question is, Bobby, what are you going to do with this painful energy, these painful emotions and overwhelming thoughts? No one knows what it's like to be the bad man, to be the sad man behind blue eyes. Hello darkness, my old friend, I've come to talk with you again. When we experience it, traumatic or challenging event, we can be defined by that event or by how we respond to it, what we think, and even more important, what we do. So, what are you going to do with it, Bobby? Up until that point that you just witnessed? I was in some pretty heavy-duty therapy. A lot of hard work with a social worker who saved my life. I've been working through the pain 
the nightmares, the fear, the exhaustion. And I kept saying it has to mean something. This all has to be happening for a reason. What was I going to do with it? What have you been doing with this painful pool of emotional energy? All of this work has told me to steer it into something good. If anybody knew a fire academy and they wanted me to speak to their firefighters, I'd be more than happy to, to tell them what goes on. Other people and speaking to them, be it one-on-one, -on -one, or then having the opportunity to speak to groups of people, that was something good coming from something bad. A lot of charity work. There's the Terry Farrell Fund, which has raised over a million dollars. Tell me about your feelings today, Bobby. What are you doing to address those feelings? What happened to me on September 11th and in the nine months after it happened to me and my family has changed me. Talk about it. Find somebody safe to talk to. If you are thinking you need to speak to somebody, you should. The pain will be there and I'll recollect it, but I'll be able to do what I was taught as a fireman. Don't let it get any worse. Stop it. Reset and move on. So many people are affected by their emotions on a daily basis. If something affected you that way, get involved in something. We've got to break our pattern. And by breaking the pattern and doing something, we start to feel better. None of this is about me. I just have one story out of a million stories of people's journeys. And there are a million people who could be sitting right here and should be sitting right here.